Our hero needs the ability to defend himself, so let's give that to him. We create a shoot event. And we'll have the shoot axe event handle it. That shoot axe method will receive an event object. And we're going to have it display the shoot animation. That, of course, loads ping files from the play data directory. And we're also going to play a sound, throw.wave. There's the ping file that'll be used when throwing. So when we shoot an axe, we're going to tell the sound manager to play throw.wave. Fire up the game to test it and press the space bar, and of course nothing happens. We haven't mapped any keys to the shoot event, so let's do that now within the play input.rb. We'll say simply, in order to shoot, we press space. space we get our animation and sound but no axes yet. Let's take care of that. In our shoot axe method we're going to create an axe object. So we say game state create which will add the object we create into this game state and then pass it the symbol axe which will load up axe.rb and create the object, an object from the class that's found inside. We go to the game objects directory and create axe.rb. And class X is going to inherit from Gemini game object. An axe only has one image file as opposed to multiple frames of an animation, so we're going to give it the drawable image behavior instead. We'll also give it the movable behavior so it can fly upwards. In its load method, we're going to assign it an image file. This will load up axe.ping from the play data directory. And just to make them look cool, let's make them spin as they fly. We're going to do that by altering its rotation a little bit every update. So we call the onUpdate method and we're going to pass that a block. The block gets the delta how long it's been since the last update, which decides how far the axe should spin. We add to its image rotation and multiply our default speed by the delta since the last update. Start the game and press space to throw an axe, and we see that an indeed a spinning axe is created, just not in the right place. So when we create that axe, we're going to set its position equal to the dwarf's position. Last thing, the axes were stationary when we created them before, so we're going to tell them to move at an angle of zero, that's straight upwards, at a speed of 0 0.5. Ah, now our 
hero looks a bit more menacing. Tune in next time and we'll create some enemies for our hero to fight. And meanwhile, be sure to visit the helpful documentation and forums on Gemini.org to learn more. Thanks for watching!